intellectuals. And welcome to this week's video. As you're watching this, it is one month past my 25th birthday. I thought that I would share my thoughts that feel pretty in line with my fellow 25 year olds on what it is like being 25. Just the thought of being 25, not actually being 25 because I, as I'm filming this, am three weeks prior to my 25th birthday. Um, so I'm not really sure what exactly 25 entails and what the universe does to you at 25, but the Welcome to 25 Alternate title. This is your quarter-life crisis. Deal with it We're officially considered adults. Yes, we've been legal adults for seven years, but that was just on paper This is real life. We're halfway to 50. Yes math, but what does that mean? If this is when we're born, this is where we are, this is 50, and this is the average expiration date for a human. We can now follow the math. Gross, I know, the fact that we can actually follow the math, especially whenever it comes to our remaining time here. We're realizing that it's called a quarter life crisis, but it should really be called a third life crisis. If we're lucky, we're realizing that comparing ourselves to others is counterproductive but all of our friends are more successful and stable than we will ever be. We're past our prime. It's not cute to make quirky little mistakes anymore. We are the grown-ups. We've calmed down a good bit. The thought of being out past 8 p.m. is exhausting. So we're in bed by 7.45 p.m. We're seriously thinking about having a family and have come to the definite conclusion that that sounds exhausting. So we'll just stick with our two cats and dog who has to stay with his grandparents because our tiny New York apartment can't have three children, pets. Just me? Okay, moving on. We aren't bothered by people like we used to be. Because we don't have time to be. We're already a third through our life. We can't let someone who's never touched a single blade of grass get under our skin. We can sit and stare at a wall and not get bored. Genuinely, what is this? The older we get, the less we need to be entertained. Do we not get bored because we are not boring? Getting eight hours of sleep every night is not up for debate anymore. We simply cannot run off a of Red Bull and the excitement that each new day brings. There will quite literally be bloodshed if we mess with our nighttime powering down process. The sheer suggestion of sitting in an office for the rest of our lives. We're in a tailspin. 50 more a year. That's 40 hours a week. 52 weeks in a year. 2,080 hours a year of working. 104,000 hours in 50 years, leaving us with 332,800 hours, sure. But we also have to get eight hours each night, leaving us with 187,200 hours. That's 72 hours a week. But thinking about commuting and errands, forget about it. We're in actual shock. Life has gone by so quickly already and there's so much to see and do. Have you thought about how long the earth has been alive? And how long a human tends to stick around? Again, 75 years, if we're lucky. How are we supposed to experience everything when we only have 50 more years to go through a catalog that's been building for 4.5 billion years? We get it and we've accepted it. These points haven't had any effect on our mental state because we've already been processing it. Each day we get closer to our big day. Or we haven't processed and we're just unbothered by the intrusive thoughts because the fire in our bellies runs too hot. And we've experienced a major terrorist attack on our country in our early years, so we're used to the turmoil. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you too are turning 25 this year or turn 25 ever or are going to turn 25, what are your thoughts on this totally random age that seems to affect all of us in the same way, possibly, unless maybe you're a stronger human or you just don't think about it, which is fine. Um, but yeah, give this video a like. Like I just said, comment down below, share it, subscribe to this channel, new video every other Tuesday. Go follow my TikTok. I do new TikToks every day. Um, if you go over to my Instagram, there's a new graphic every Wednesday. And just remember that even though we're getting old, er, 25 is not old, 50 is not old, age is but a number. Um, but yeah, we're always constantly a work in progress. How exhausting.